<laughs> <laughs> he has a pretty fucking but a prolific career. He just keeps going. Yeah, yeah. No, he's solid. Um, others didn't quite go. He's that funny. Way. I think Ted is funny. funny. He's a funny dude. Yeah. And he was really good on Curb Enthusiasm. The other so guy, Steve, everyone, Gutenberg, but, Steve Gutenberg. Yeah, Goot's not Ted. The Goot had a fucking <laughs> <laughs> a good old time through the 80s. <laughs> He's definitely listening. <laughs> he did have a good old time. You're talking about a dude like, okay, yes, he was in the Three Men and a Baby's movies, and that's fucking. That was when he was. He was. He got those movies. That's because huge enough. He was in. You know, give it to Police him. Academy. He had another franchise, Police Academy. That ain't even it. I think he even left that. He did. He was like, fuck you guys. <laughs> I'm done. I've had enough. The Goot's bigger than this fucking <laughs> one horse movie. Goot's full. Goodbye. <laughs> Thank you for the meal. <laughs> Gooten <Man>. Tog. <laughs> Good night, everybody. He can never just leave. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then he- his agent calls him one day. That offer that that movie you wanted went to somebody else. He's like, "Good God!" <laughs> oh my goodness, <laughs> Steve. <laughs> I'm just going to have this conversation with you one more time. Maybe the reason the offers have dried up is your insistence on using goot <laughs> instead of good. <laughs> good point. <laughs> so I can't get on good morning America. <laughs> oh, help me get back on the good foot. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> All right, so he had, but cocoon. That's what I was, I was, he had another franchise. He had two cocoon movies. Man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, granted, the second one not very necessary. Didn't catch fire, but yeah. But he was in it. He was in it. He was there. <laughs> they weren't like we're going without the good. <laughs> it's, it's no good. <laughs> <laughs> this boat don't go without the good. <laughs> Is he Jamaican? <laughs> yes. He just lapses into it. The boat don't go without Gutman. It's like, is that Steve Goldberg? <laughs> is he a character? Um, that's a fucking shit ton. A he, shit he ton a of run. activity. Yeah, yeah. And he did some other movies. I like, mean, come on. He had lots, dude. Yeah. Like, go look up Steve Gutenberg on the IMDb. That's a dude who had an amazing fucking run. Been a little dry the last few years, but <laughs> you know you can't. You think those can guys- you complain after a run that good? Maybe it's by choice too. He might be like, "Look, fucking, it's not like the offers dried up. The pictures got too small for the goat." <laughs> <laughs> the pictures today, they're just not very good. Oh my god! There's a fucking <laughs> image came up that's of him. Um. Looking at the camera with his fist in the air, and it literally says, the goot will destroy you. <laughs> G-U-T-E. Um, he, uh, he was in fucking Diner. There you go. He was in fucking Short Circuit. Another franchise. Was he in the second one? No, because no. he wasn't. He didn't come back. It was just they were like, look, we don't need your help, goot. He directed two movies, too. <laughs> He's like, give that robot the boot. Bring back the goot. <laughs> <laughs> no, fuck off. Not in this. <laughs> um, the rhyme doesn't work anymore. <laughs> <laughs> the goot is kaput. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh... <laughs> he was in 2005's The Poseidon Adventure. Um, Really? The remake? No, wait. Was it the cinematic one or was he on the TV version? Well, I can't tell. I think it was the. I think it was TV the TV version. version. Okay, bad enough if you're like Using- I was in the cinematic <clears throat> version. When you're like, no, I was on the one that was on TV. I'm trying to get to the point where oh, three men in a lip. Oh, don't tell her it's me. Cocoon, high spirits, 
High Spirits with Daryl Hannah and Peter O'Toole. Amazon Women on the Moon. That is more of a like a uh, you know a picture of a bunch of sketches. Bad Medicine. What is uh, that? It's a it's like a police academy with doctors. Doctors. Or something. Okay. What else? <clears throat> um, the bedroom window. That's when he was being serious. Police academies. Police academy was making sure the bills get paid. Diner, and then so when when three men and a little lady happens, which is the ninety nineteen ninety. He so he makes it to the nineties as well. He makes it to nineteen ninety, and then he's he's in home for the holidays. It says okay. But he's pretty much like, you know, the 90s. I mean, it literally says 1990, and then it goes to 1995 when he's in the Big Green as Sheriff Tom Palmer. I don't remember that. The Big Green, I think it was a soccer movie. Oh, yeah. And then yeah, by the time we got started, he was he was finishing up, it looks like. And then he was on Veronica Mars. That's episode. right. He was on the same season as I was on Veronica Mars. He did a Law and Order. I but think I've seen that one. He keeps working. He's in something called I Heart Shaky. He works consistently. Sh- <laughs> <laughs> this is what you're saying. Stop. Wait, I want to know what he directed. He's directed? He was in something called The Chicken Chronicles <laughs> in the early 70s. Um, That's how it all began. He direct- Take us back, dude. <laughs> he directed um, a CBS school break special. Okay. Um, and... and- in 1993, and then in 2002, he directed "P.S. Your Cat Is Dead." Short film or feature? Uh, I believe it's a feature. Uh, I'm just gonna. It's an hour and 28 minutes. That's a feature. Jimmy Gutenberg, the Goot, and he, Kate Cynthia Watros, Watros, are in the mm-hmm. middle of a breakup and completely oblivious to the fact that they're being robbed. He wrote it too. All right, it's based on a play. Well, here's the thing. Um, this dude Goot, he fucking had it Goot for a long, <laughs> long time, and he continues to work. But it, but for a while, boy, he could fucking. He strung a few. He strung a decade together. A real fucking <clears throat> strong decade, man. It's, I'm telling you, entertainers, actors, fucking directors, whatever. They're like athletes, dude. You get a career. You know what I'm saying? Some get to go much longer, yes, and there are some who could take it, you know, beyond retirement age and whatnot. Those are the massive fucking movie stars. But everyone else, you get a career like an athlete, man. Like, string yeah, yeah. together a couple really great seasons. You can't fucking win them all and shit like that. Hopefully you save some money. Yeah, you put some <clears throat> away and shit for a rainy Sometimes day. Sometimes you come back. You know? Yes. Some people have longevity. So it's, uh, but I mean, this is a dude that like, if there's a Hall of Fame, like he's in it. He's like, almost in it. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's got to be in it after that run he had. 